Hey guys, it's Lee. I'm here in the morning in my shop, early in the morning, uh, cleaning up. It's 70 low degrees this morning, and I've had several projects going, and I don't usually clean up afterwards. I got wrenches and stuff sitting around, so oh, about once a week or once every couple weeks, I'll come in and do a cleanup. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. But the video today is about a chain hoist. I've shown it in many videos. This is the setup. Now, you know, in my shop, when I had this built, I told the guy that was building it that I was going to um, put a chain hoist here for mowers. And so I asked him if he would double up the, um, oh, what are that, what's that called? You know, I got, you know, they're singles, uh, roof rafters now, it's some technical name. Can't think of it right now. But anyway, so he said, yeah, he said a single one would probably be okay, but yeah, let's double it up. So that's what he did. And then I did this, uh, ran some bolts through it so I could have a good even place to wrap my chain around. But anyway, this is a, what is it? A half ton uh, chain hoist. I bought it at a yard sale for $7 about 10 years ago, maybe longer than that. Um, but what I use it for, and I just take it for granted. You see, I, I, I wrapped a chain around the axle, not to get into the steering linkage. So if I need to uh, change the tire, right there it is. So Buck Small Engine is the YouTube channel and he did a video on this other day. Uh, about a week ago. And I messaged him. I said, hey, you know what? I do the same thing. I take it for granted. You okay if I do a video on it and give you a shout out? And he said, yeah, I'd like to see your setup. So here it is. That's it. So anyway, um, I think he calls himself Buck Weezer. I've been watching him for years and he does good work. So check out his YouTube channel. But anyway, this is my setup. Hey, if you like these kind of videos, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Not a whole lot to it. Of course you can, you know, I added this chain to it right here. Right here's the hook. Now if I, you know, if I back the mower up, then of course I would just um, go to the middle there and not use the chain but the chain is there for ease for me to just wrap it around something that's not gonna bend. So like I say, you know, I just had it there for this tire. You know, it's off the ground. And you know, you just pull a chain and it goes up and down. And look at it, it goes high as that. And if I wanted to raise it more, I could, but I could have this tractor standing on the end if I wanted to. And if you're wanna, like if I'm gonna do, so when I sharpen blades on the mower decks, you know, I don't take the mower deck off, I'll put it under here, I jack it up. And I do put jack stands on each side uh, for safety in case something gave way here, which it never has, but so I don't wanna crush my head while I'm under there. But anyway, um, cause I got a jack stand on this side and wood on this side. So when I'm doing that, I just uh, put them under there. Um, change blades just anytime like i was on this mower i was changing out the transmission linkage and you know it's just hard to get under there so i jacked it up and um so it's easy to get under there so anyway right there it is you can see it right there you know they sell them at harbor freight and places like that but and I, hey look i got about three or four jacks can you see that right there i mean i got two just like that and then i got a three ton one outside and i got jacks so i got jacks and but this is just easier i mean you know i leave this spot open in my garage to work on stuff so um if i got a new mower in that's where i'll park it sometime i don't need to jack it up because i don't need to get under it but anyway that's it if you don't have one i highly recommend it this was an idea from uh, buck small engines it's just something I've mentioned in videos over the years, but I thought I'd dedicate a video to how I raise my mowers. That's it. All right, I'm out.
And when I'm not using it, I wrap it around this hook over here so it stays out of the way.